Welcome to Meeting House Live. Welcome back to Meeting House Live. Welcome to Meeting House Live. Welcome back to Meeting House Live. Meeting House Live. Meeting House Live. Hi everyone, welcome back to Meeting House Live, where we are not actually meeting. And we are not actually live. It's Wednesday, May 6th, and I'm your host, Leah Appleton. And I'm your other host, Madison Chow. I don't know about you, Leah, but humor has been one thing getting me through social distancing. I'm always on the lookout for a good joke. Let's send it over to Connor for the joke of the week. Hi, my name is Jeff Lindsay, senior pastor at Colonial Church. I uh, would love to introduce myself to you if you don't really know me. I'm kind of the new pastor, and most people don't know why I really uh, have earned the right to be senior pastor. And one of the big reasons is because of uh, my large vocabulary. As a matter of fact, I've invented a word. I don't know if you know that about me. The word is plagiarism. You feel free to use that any time you want. Well, here we are, my friends, at another segment of Meeting House Live, and I'm here to introduce the wonderful joke of the week. Take it away, you guys. What's up? It's Connor here in the Joke Corner. I've got two hilarious jokes for you today. First one is, what do you call a rabbit with fleas? Think about it. Think about it. Bugs Bunny, right? You got it? You fall for anything. You got it. All right, another one. Do you know that the first French fries, they weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. That was a nice laugh. I know you're laughing. All right, adios. Wow, I think Connor should totally try out some stand-up comedy. He should. Truly a quality joke. You know what's not a joke, Madison? Ava's cooking. Let's see what's hot in the kitchen today. Hi, guys. Um, It's Ava, and this is my dad. Um, Hi. (laughs) So... We're gonna be making um, some Asian food, um, some cream cheese wontons or cream cheese puffs. All right, all right, all right. So first you need thick wonton wraps. This is, these are the ones we have. You can just get them at the grocery store. And then some um, cream cheese and vegetable oil. And then we have our little frying basket thing and pan right here. Here, first you lay out your wrappers. Um, and some of them are broken, but try not to break them. And then get a bowl of water and then cream cheese. All right, to start, you're gonna take about a dime size of cream cheese on your spoon and then put it in the middle of this thing. And then you're gonna take a little bit of water on your finger and then get the side of it wet and then fold it into a triangle. Like this. Triangle-ish. And then you're gonna take it like this, with your thumbs right there, and <laughs> and you're gonna twist it up like this, so it looks like that. And then you put another little thing of water on one of these things, and then it's like that. Here they are all rolled up. Um, my brother said I didn't have a future in cooking, which may come as a surprise to all of you. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna put them in the oil. When they start to look like this, kind of crispy and brown, just a little bit of crunch. And we're going to put them in a little pan right there. All right, here's the final product. Thanks for watching. I'm Ava. I'm Dan. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Who's that been all my life? That looks delicious. Definitely restaurant quality. Leah, do you have a favorite restaurant that you miss going to? Hard to pick just one, but I really miss going to Punch Pizza. It's too bad we can't go to our favorite restaurants. But you know what we can do? Build computers, of course. Let's let's send it over to Hank for the latest in technology. Hey, everyone. Um... I figured I would do a little tour of the computer I built back here. So, this thing here with the NZXT and the circle and the tube coming out is a liquid cooler for my processor, the Ryzen 2700X. 
um, these two sticks of like the glowing up green thing are uh, computer memory. I've got 16 gigabytes of it running at 3200 megahertz. It seems to run on some form of electricity. Well, you're not wrong. This down here is the graphics card where it says the GeForce GTX on it. This is a GTX 1070. I'm hoping to upgrade it to a 2070 Super here in a, at least a month or so. Um, and that's what that's what makes this that's what like outputs a display and makes games look pretty and stuff. Obviously, there's a motherboard that I am motherboard. That everything's connected to behind it. You can't really see it. And that's pretty much it. That is so impressive. I can barely figure out how to restart my computer, let alone build one. The variety of expertise our students bring is remarkable. As many this week have celebrated Star Wars and posts of May the 4th be with you flood our feeds, we called on movie expert Elijah to review his favorite Star Wars movie. So there's this very small indie franchise. I, I don't know if you've heard of it. it, it it's called Star Wars. It, it exists. It's a good show. What, what I mean movie. Uh, I'm stupid. Whether you love it or hate it, Star Wars is probably one of the most influential pieces of pop culture media in the world. I don't like Sam. Like, seriously, I mean, there's a whole day dedicated to its existence. I mean, I like Revenge of the Sith. It's nice. It's got that, that dramatic feel. It's got the memes. It's over, I have the high ground. I have the high ground. Um, it's also got the, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the other stuff. Uh, it felt nice to watch. I thought it was pretty good. Um, this is going over the time limit. Oh, oh gosh. But, you know, I'm just going to leave you with this beautiful line. I am the Senate. Not yet. It's treason, then. Thanks, Elijah. Hey, Madison, have you ever thought about what your Jedi name would be? What else would it be other than Mad Dog? Uh, speaking of dogs, it's time for Animal Corner. Uh, here is Olivia Cat with her cat. Until he is very dirty because he spends all his time eating bunnies. Um, he's five years old, I think. Right? Four. Four years old. And he loves to cuddle and he is kind of crazy. Right, Dink? Right, Dink. Holy cat, that was awesome. Thanks, Olivia. Uh-oh, folks, this is Justin. It appears we have a severe weather alert. Let's go to Jess, who's live with the weather. As you can tell, it was a perfect day to go for a nice little See you later. Wow, we here at Meeting House Live are so thankful for our meteorologist that braved the elements to bring us the most accurate weather reports. You know who else is braving the elements? Ainsley and Michael have not let the weather get in the way of finding ways to remain active. It's time for sports. My name's Ainsley, I play tennis. And I paddleboard. <laughs> Amazing. I would not be surprised if I saw them in the Olympics next summer. Wait. The Olympics are next summer? Oh man, that is so long to have to wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a huge bummer to have to wait. But the good news is that you only have to wait one more week for the next Meeting House Live. That's true. And as we wait, we want to hear from you. If you have something from home you would like to share to be featured on the next Meeting House Live, reach out to us. That's all for this week. This has been Meeting House Live, where we're not actually meeting. And we are not actually live. Good night, everyone. Bye.